Right, I've been sort of practicing making some willow um, work, finding out what methods would work the best for the bee skep, especially where the bees enter the um, well the skep. This one was my first one, and I was looking at um, sort of bending the willow and weaving back into it um, at the base. Um, which makes little feet when you, and these would be great for when we put the clay at the bottom and make the holes where the bees will enter the um, bee skep but I don't think um, it'll work for the whole of the bee skep because um, they'll only enter in one part of the bee skep rather than the whole and it needs to be very robust against um, mice and things that will come and want to pinch the honey. So I'm going to try, um, I've tried a method that I've found on my basket where they sort of re-wrap around um, and makes an incredibly sturdy base. Um, I tried leaving one out to see if it would do anything like this, but I'm going to have to leave two out to make a bridge where I can put the clay in. So I'll get some more willow and uh, look forward to attacking that. Um, on the uh, pictures of the bee skep in the, in the Psalter, they've got this lovely scrolled willow effect um, going around. So I've tried to uh, imitate that and I've used willow from the willow, my weeping willow tree, and I've literally scrolled it around a length of um, this bigger willow. Um, so yes, I wrapped it round the willow that I'm using and it's made a very nice rope effect, so um, I shall continue to do that.